Hey all and welcome back to Let's Talk Assassin's Creed, your number one podcast of all things Assassin's Creed. Today's episode is a special one. We are not going to be talking about Assassin's Creed in the usual format. No highlight, no lore, and no gameplay. Instead, we're going to celebrate the milestone that I've just hit, which is 1,000 listeners on all platforms. This doesn't mean that I've got 1,000 on all five. No, it just means that... On my hosting site, Spreaker, it's capped a thousand listeners on all five so far. And that is wonderful news. And I've really been so tempted to press that cheer button for ages now. (laughs) Perfect time to add it. So what's this episode really about? Well, it's quite simple. I asked you this last week to send me some questions and I'm going to answer them. But before I answer them, let's talk about the podcast and how we got to a thousand listeners. And how we got here blows my blooming mind. <laughs> really does. So let's start off the creation. Why did I create the podcast? Simple says 2007 Assassin's Creed 1 was, came out. I jumped ship from Prince of Persia to Assassin's Creed because I wanted the same parkour and gameplay I loved in Prince of Persia. I'm also a massive history nerd. Like, literally, if you can put me down a history textbook, I'll read it. And to play through Assassin's Creed 1, which was real history, mixed with fiction, I was blown away. Two, I learned the Renaissance era of Italy for the first time. I wasn't familiar. Did more research. Loved it more. And, well, the rest is history. I'm now sat here a massive nerd for the law, but also hungry for the history. Like... Uh, I love my Greek mythology and I love my Greek history, especially the Peloponnesian War, which was the inspiration for the 300 film, which is completely fictional. But the battle for Sparta that was defended by 300 men that was from the Persian invasion was real. So that was epic to see that in the game. But yeah, ignore that. It's just me going on, uh, on uh, on a tangent. Sorry, I'm just so excited that we've hit a thousand listeners. (laughs) So, the other thing that makes it epic is I just keep coming back every week, giving you new stuff I find and stuff I love. And I see a lot of podcasters doing, you know, history or the law. And I don't think I could deliver a podcast as perfect as them people do, like Bleeding Effect. Such a fantastic podcast. And I don't think I could ever deliver something on that level um there's another podcast i've totally forgot the name i'm so sorry you uh, vision that's the one they're on twitter visions and um, vision oh my brain's fried i'm so sorry i've worked with them in the past i'm gonna get my twitter up now but they deliver a lot of history and law and they're fantastic and it's both for them that driven me to this inspiration you know i started digging and Got my feet in the water, spoke to them, they helped me out. And Vision Podcast is the one I'm on about. Vision's Assassin's Creed Podcast. Give them a shout out. But it was them people who make them podcasts that keep inspiring me to keep pushing. I didn't want to do what they did because I thought what they did was perfect and I didn't want to step on their toes and I wanted to deliver something as stunning, which is why my show is a mix of everything law history gameplay thoughts theories a whole it is basically this is a fan hub you know if you're a fan of the series come listen come see share your theories come and have a laugh really it's just how screwed we all love it for individual reasons i love everyone who loves it we'll get along and on about getting along i've left twitter because i was struggling with the um word count I'm really very type happy, so 150 characteristics on there is not my cup of tea. So I did create my Facebook page, Let's Talk Assassin's Creed. But because I love you guys, and I don't think it's fair that you have to talk to me on a page where it has to be monitored through messaging, I've linked a group called Let's Talk Assassin's Creed Community. If you Google, if you go on Facebook, you'll find it. That's my official podcast community that is an open group like you can join post whatever you want that's related to assassin's creed and i post my own (coughs) content you know my podcast updates but i also have a friend on there declan 
who helped me with this podcast. But there might be a little secret to that in a minute. <laughs> Just wait. And it's going swimmingly, but I'd love to see you guys on there chatting, sharing inside the screen. If you've got an epic photo, no, I'd love to see it. And it's just a community hub for everyone because I want you to talk to me and I want to talk to you. And really, the more people that talk, the more I'm going to invite you into my script editing and the more you guys can get shout outs and get your thoughts, your theories and your love across. If you want to come into my community and say, hey, you know what? I don't like Assassin's Creed. I love Templars. I want more Templars. I want to see more. Shay's story wasn't enough. I want to see more. You know what? I'll be down to writing an episode with you and down to talking more because Templars do not get enough love. Templars are so cool and I would be on board for that. You know, just the little things. So, I'm waffling again because I just can't contain my excitement. So, let's get to why we're here. The question. So, first question, I'm going to... It's going to be take a long time to... Answer thank, answer thank, answer thank, answer thank. So I'm just going to say a huge thank you to everyone that sent me them. Huge thank you. You all appreciate and I love you all for joining in. So, pardon me, sorry. Uh, how many kids do you have and their age? Well, I have two kids, two little terrors, as I nickname them. Love them to bits and they're my world and my life. Um... One's one and one's three. Coming up four. Sorry, I even forgot what day of the month it is. I'm on lockdown. I'm going crazy. Love kids and my I think my oldest knows I chatter too much. So maybe if he heard my podcast when he was older, he'd probably think, "Geez, Dad, you don't shut up." <laughs> um, my name and profession is another one. So this is where things get funky. My name actually is Declan. Declan Rose is my name. I interact on the page as myself and my Facebook page. So I get bored at times and I do ask my Let's Talk page questions as Declan. <laughs> and the reason I do this is I, I don't want my page looking dead. I don't want people coming across it who don't know about podcasts and see a page that's not active. So I'd rather pretend that I'm talking to myself. <laughs> It's daft, but hey, it's fun. So, Declan Rose is my name, and my profession is I'm a full time dad. I don't actually work in my household. I love my kids so much that my partner is the one that goes and works because she had a job before I met her, so it's kind of didn't want to steal her funder. So, I stay home with the kids. I do everything from helping with the nursery runs, helping with the cooking, cleaning, even though I get told I don't clean well. I give it a good try. Bit of spit and polish, you know what I mean? But it's not. Some people this may not think it's the best profession, but I love being a stay-at-home parent, and I would give anything to be a father to my kids because it's just epic. My top three games, well, Assassin's Creed series is one. Um, hmm, this is a tricky one. Sims, I absolutely love playing Sims. I've just gone to Sims Four recently. I adore it, and. And one that's just ticked to me uh, is the Uncharted series. My partner got me for Christmas and I'm in love with the free games. I can't wait to try number four. Top Assassin's Creed games. Well, we're going to be here all night. So we're not going to do it all. But I'll give you my top three. One, because it sparked my passion and love for the series. Origins, because... Well, it's Origins, I just love everything. And my third spot is every other game. That's just it, really. It's difficult to say in top three, but if I had to make top three, it would go or one, Origins, and then every single one, joint third. And the reason that is, I love one because it grew my passion, and I would rank Assassin's Creed Origins too because I love the lore behind the origins like it was such a huge lore dump that I drooled every moment and it was the first game that actually kicked me in the fields with a couple of missions so it is up there and free is joined with everything because I'm one of these people that I love the faults and I love the pros of all games 
So, that's that one. <laughs> my top Assassin's Creed character. I cannot answer that because I love them all. I'm sorry it's not the answer you're probably wanting, but they're all ranked there as the best. I love Altair's attitude, Ezio's charisma, Connor's broody sort of, I must protect, uh, must protect my nation because my enemy is a notion, not a nation. Love that car. Quote, love Edward's pirate turned assassin buccaneer feel. Love Shay's Templar, I must destroy the Brotherhood but save at the same time. Arno, witty Frenchman, classic. Jacob and Evie, just the perfect twins you can find. Jacob's cocky, classic gang leader sort of stereotypical vibe. Evie, serious, down to earth, let's get the Brotherhood going. Perfect pair, works a charm. Bayek, because come on, Bayek is just adorable. He's some of the most memorable quotes, most badass character. And finally, who does not love Cassandra? The woman who who birthed the bloodline of Assassin's Creed with Aya. Her Isu concentration of bloodline runs through Aya. And she also has a scar on the left side of her lip. And if anybody remembers the scar, is also linked to Altair, Ezio, and Desmond. Ooh, is Cassandra secretly a Desmond relative? Ooh. Where do I live? I live in a little city in a place called Cumbria. Uh, it's not that big, it's just a nice little city. Um, do you play tabletop games? What do you think is the best? If Monopoly counts, then yes, I play tabletop games and it's Monopoly. <laughs> and we have time for one last question. And that is, during this lockdown, is there anything you can suggest to do in Assassin's Creed that's cool and interesting? Only one thing I can suggest. Replay the hell of the games, because you'll find little details you miss. And also, try Discovery Mode. Just If you want two minutes away from the getting your ass handed to you on Origins and Odyssey, take a breather with Discovery Mode. You'll learn some interesting history that when you replay the games, You'll find, figure out why the world was created that way, like the cats walking around Egypt, you know, you see why they love the cats so much, the tombs lying around, you learn so much, and I would highly recommend it. So if you're in lockdown right now, and you're quarantined, play the heck out of the games, and jump on discovery mode. So that's all we've got time for today. Thank you again for all the listeners. I can't believe it, a thousand listeners is a lot. Next week we'll be diving straight back into our usual with April's highlights, which I'm excited to do. I've got some exciting news. And I want to thank you.